Good morning, guys. A weird phenomenon has happened here in Central Oregon. And uh, all I can say is, Cinder, we're not in Arizona anymore because it snowed. God. What is this stuff? It snowed. It, 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 it came out of the sky, like out of nowhere, overnight. And I don't know why, because it's blue skies now, but it's like an inch of this stuff. I think they call it snow. And uh, it's cold. I didn't sign up for this. Yes, the generator's on. But yeah, my truck, the trees, it's cold. It's like I've had to wear a jacket. I can't wear my shorts or sandals. I miss my palm trees, my pool. Man, but it's actually kind of pretty. So anyway, yeah, it snowed today. So anyway, and Cinder's loving it. She uh, thinks this white stuff's pretty good. And it apparently isn't poisonous because she eats it. So yeah, it snowed in Central Oregon. I, uh, this is why I moved this. <laughs> This is why I went to Central, why I went to Arizona is because uh, of this stuff. Because it's cold and it's hard to drive in and people are idiots on the road. They don't want to slow down. Actually, people in Central Oregon, at least they used to, drive pretty good in the snow. But they got a lot of newcomers from lower states and they, don't, they still think they can drive like they're in California. But, yeah, they pay the consequences when they do. But, yeah, I just thought I'd show you around. Kind of pretty. But, not my cup of tea. <laughs> Talk to you later. So, guys, one of the problems is with snow and cold weather is you go through a lot of propane. So, we're going to go pick up some propane. And I thought I'd let you see a little bit of snow on the road. In Central Oregon, it's not that big a deal. But, anyway, here it is. propane tank right there. Well, we got the propane replaced and uh, we're going through about a tank a day because of the heater, the refrigerator, the hot water heater, everything's on LP. So uh, that's just how it is. Uh, unfortunately, propane is costing, I've probably spent $40 in propane since I've been here. And I'll be probably spending a little bit more. So I would say in the four to five days we've been here, we've probably gone through $50 worth of propane, if not a little more. But uh, uh, the snow that came down today is already melting, but it's very pretty very pretty and uh you know these uh trees you see here are junipers and uh they're beautiful trees and uh they're uh, uh everywhere here and uh makes it really pretty this is considered high desert so we're about 36,000 feet i believe is the height here but uh yeah um if you drive West a little bit towards sisters and stuff, you'll start getting into pine trees. But here it's junipers. But anyway, so that's what's going on today. And uh, we got the propane, so we get to stay warm one more day. So. Yes. We got a dirty face. Hey. What you got? What do you think of this snow stuff? Hey, come here. Come on. 
Come on. Come on. Come on, baby dog. Kind of pretty out here. Come on, go, 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 go. Come here. Come, come, come. Here, push. So yeah, guys, we have snow. Can you believe it? Woke up to this again. It just, really? So our biggest concern is, is tomorrow we leave. And uh, uh, I have to take the... Uh, I hope I don't get snow again because then it will be on top of the slides. And uh, that will be a bummer. And I'm getting too fat and old to climb up there and sweep it off. So I hope that we don't have snow tomorrow. But they say there's not going to be. But until then... It's actually very pretty. Center is loving it. And uh, tomorrow we uh, leave and we'll go to Winnemucca first and, uh, and have some fun there. And then next day we drive down to Vegas, spend the night there, have some fun, adult time. And then after that we'll drive from, it's only like five hours from Vegas to our house. So there, that's what we're doing. And it's been cold. And I really miss Arizona. <laughs> That's all I can say. So good morning, guys. Just got up. Notice it was kind of bright outside, and I don't think I'm going to like what I see. But, yep, it snowed again. Are you kidding me? Well, good evening, everyone. This is Saturday still, and uh, the snow's all gone. And we're getting actually pretty close to a sunset. It's going to be kind of pretty. And, uh... Guys, get nice. So, uh, anyway, it's been uh, fun here. This has been a lot of family stuff, so I try to keep kind of that stuff out of the videos. It's just, you know, where do you draw the line? <laughs> anyway, but uh, uh, I see I got Sherry in the back there doing something. But I just thought I'd let you know it's been cold here. We'll be heading out tomorrow morning, getting up about six in the morning, winterizing the RV, and then. Um, hitting them Winnemucca. So there. Anyway, uh, it's going to be pretty sunset. Well, as promised, I thought I'd show you what I do for winterizing. So, you can see I tape up all my openings. Hot water tank. Refrigerator. And heater. Is all taped up here. And uh, so now we're ready to put antifreeze into the system. So, uh, in the Montana, it's kind of easy. Uh, you just gotta have a short hose and you plug it in like so into the stuff right here and plug it into the winterizing freeze guard, they call it. And then Sherry will start running all the taps until she sees pink coming out of the shower, coming out of all the sinks, the toilet, everything. And then the last thing we also do is drain the water tank is down here pretty simple the Montanas are really easy to uh, winterize and I drained the hot water tank and uh, I have a winterizing control to bypass all water going to the, the hot water tank so when we cycle uh, antifreeze into it it won't go into the hot water tank uh, won't kill you but you really don't want to do that so the hot water tank is secure Hot water tank has no water in it and uh, we're ready to cycle so I'm not going to show you that part but I just thought I'd give you an idea the most important thing I think there is is covering up your vents for critters <laughs> spiders mouses field rats ants uh, any way they can get in they'll find a way so anyway what do we do on the inside to make sure we remove them when we oh <laughs> So Sherry's right here. So one of the things she tells me is we put little stickers all over the RV reminding us to take that tape, <laughs> this tape off before we fire things back up because it'd be kind of a bummer. So uh, yeah, so make sure you put some little post-it notes. Post notes on your refrigerator or on your po power switches saying remove tapes <laughs> from outlets before you fire anything up it would be kind of a bummer. Anyway, talk to you later and 
We'll be hitting the road soon. Thanks for joining us during our time in Central Oregon. But it's time to go home, so join us in part four as we head back to Arizona. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We really would appreciate it. Talk to you later.